Hello everyone, my name is Bliss Testimony and welcome to my channel, Drop Day Gorgeous, where we explore the cosmetic side of the funeral home industry. If you're interested in things like this or you've been trying to further your career as a mortuary cosmetologist, subscribe to my channel. And if you like my videos, give me a huge thumbs up so other professionals like you can find out more information about things they may not know. Stay tuned. So today's video, we're going to do Beauty on a Budget Mortuary Edition. And I have a little bit of tips to share and some goodies that I grabbed from Miss A's. So Miss A's is a cosmetic store that is very affordable and for what we do for a living, very helpful. So if you want to find out more, Continue watching this video and I'm going to show you what I got from my Miss A's haul. And I pre-recorded so um, I really didn't get to explore the store per se because I was nervous about recording because this is my first time doing this. But um, I have pictures of what I got and you know I'll kind of go into the, I'll describe it a little bit better for you. But just stay tuned. Miss A is an affordable cosmetic store that has an abundance and a variety of nail polishes, blushes, eyeshadows, eyeliners, foundations, eyelashes, jewelry, scarves, whatever you can think of, they have it. Well, just about, don't call me. But for what you're trying to build, it is very affordable. Most items are a dollar, not most, $10. So just left them all and I did a Miss A's haul. A haul at Miss A's. Yeah, whatever. Anyway, this person for me, since we can't do, um, have actual deceased people on camera without permission. So it's really hard because it's really insensitive to ask someone like, hey, can I do your loved one's makeup and put them on camera so the whole world can see? It's not gonna happen unless someone requests that. But anyhow, let's go get in this bag. All right, guys, I pulled the goodies out of the bag for my Miss A's haul, oh, yeah. And there's a lot of things that you typically wouldn't find in a mortuary makeup kit that I have found helpful over the years, or well, the past two years, that have really assisted me. And then I have some stuff that I grabbed from the dollar store and my local beauty supplies, and they're also really reasonable and they work just fine. I don't have to get expensive makeup to, to do this. Just find something that works for you and run with it. But I'm really about to get into detail about all the little brushes. I got this AM Essential Brush Kit and I chose this one because it has a lot um, more smaller brushes. And that's better for creases and stuff. And then it has that big fan brush back there that we use to kind of finish off the look. And also um, these over brushes. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. But anyhow, is that? What is that? But these over brushes, this one right here is particularly, particularly my favorite. That one and, and this one. But anyway, let's get on it. Oh, and these, I've never tried it, but I think it'll be good for when you apply mascara. But anyway, we're gonna try that out. I've never tried it, but anyway, we'll, we'll see. And of the makeup, it's really just the consistency of it. So a lot of things can be used and it may take a lot of time, but you know, over the years I because you know, it helps me broaden my horizons. Now the first thing that I wanna talk about are these brushes that I got from Miss A's. And they have a large variety of brushes and they also come in packs of 10 so you can get different brushes in different sets so one set that i got are over brushes and i don't know if i'm pronouncing that right a disclaimer i am not a makeup person so i got into this industry because of a specific reason. But I was never a makeup person before, so I don't know the names of the brushes. I just know how to use it and what works for me. But anyway, I got a box and I've already opened the box and 
I'll show you um, in, a, in a photo, but these are over brushes. So they're really soft, some are soft, and some have a little bit firmer texture, but I like these because if you put on concealer or anything, it's really soft, so it'll smooth it without removing it from the person's skin that you are applying makeup on. Um, they have different size brushes, and I sometimes use these for eyelids, you know, like to go perfectly inside of the crease, to put concealer, um, to add color, and then I use these, this one's a really thin brush. So I like to use this when I go under the eye because it's really hard to, to cover, get makeup coverage under the eye. So this is a perfect tool for that. And also they have um, certain kind of brushes. Whenever I use my translucent powder or my setting powder, I like to use softer brushes like these because it distributes the setting powder evenly and it doesn't disturb the makeup that I've already applied. You can also use these for foundation or concealer. They're a little bit firmer. And also, now we're gonna move to something that I found that would be really helpful for me whenever applying mascara, are these little shadow armors. And I haven't opened it, so let's open it. I thought it was going to be hard. <laughs> and I really thought that this would be a good idea whenever you apply mascara because you can't hold a person's, a deceased person's eye down. You can't do that because their firm, their skin is stiff. So after you apply your the rest of your makeup, then you would use this to go under the eye to apply their mascara. And you could probably use it on the top of the eye. I haven't tried them yet. But I really, I'll use anything. Even the corners. But I thought that would be really, really helpful. And mascara, you even if the person didn't live use mascara while they were living, once you put the makeup on their face, it's a clear palette so it really doesn't have any vibrancy to it so if you put mascara you know it'll kind of give the face some dimension so i would try those shadow armor um little eyeshadow patches to keep the fallout from getting on their face so another thing that i got sorry i have like a whole bunch of stuff on the table that i just pulled out but i got this helpful eyeshadow palette and some people wear eyeshadow, some people don't. But I like to have it on hand because you know you can give people's eye I can't I can't speak. You can give their eyes definition. Because yet again, whenever you cover someone's face full with makeup, it's just a neutral palette. So everything blends together. There's no definition. But I like this kit and I've already used it. I use it for myself. I haven't used this on a deceased person. I, I purchased another one, and that's another thing. Do not use makeup that you've applied on a deceased person. You do not know what they passed away from. You do not know um, if it's come in contact with embalming fluid, if fluids from the body have come in contact with the brushes that you've used. So just don't do it. And if you have a family that brings their own makeup, let them know. I would not advise you to use this makeup. Just don't do it. But anyway, back to this beautiful palette. Um, they have a lot of other palettes too. I'm a very colorful person, so I chose this for myself, but they, you can tell that they do have neutral colors inside. You can even use that as a shadow. Some people, and they loved glitter and you know shimmery colors. So this gave me a better variety for what I like to use, but you can get your own. You can pick your own. And I believe these are behind the counter. They don't have these on the floor. And I believe they were five and they weren't a dollar. Don't quote me on the dollar. Quote me on the five, but not the dollar. <laughs> anyway, um, let's see what else do we have. Oh, they have these 
eyeshadow sticks and I like to use these for people who have neutral who want neutral makeup or natural makeup because they tend to match the skin complexions better and um, I would not forget to cover their eyelids with some some form of makeup because it just gives it more of a natural look because that's what we're going for most of the time we see people you know when we go to their viewings or their funerals and we're like why did do, why does their makeup look like that and it because it it could be because of lack of knowledge because a person you know that does their makeup they know how they learned in embalming school and they never really took into you know furthering their education and becoming more knowledgeable in makeup application sorry it took me so long i was trying to open this so let's see how it applies i haven't used these before but i work with anything so i'm just gonna oh yeah that's perfect this is perfect this is a perfect consistency so if you want to give someone a base for their eyeshadow i just like the way that it glides because when you're working with a deceased person their skin is really hard and it's porous and it's slippery sometimes so some some makeups will not apply well to a deceased person's skin uh -oh. I'm not this um i think that's all i got from my Miss Ace Hall. Oh, lipsticks. Lipsticks. I haven't opened any of this stuff. Oop. Come on, man. Everything always wants to show out when you're trying to do something. So this is a Wonder Lipstick 24 Hour. Sorry, guys. I have hair color on my finger. I don't like to wear gloves when I do hair. Or when I do, I just don't like gloves. Hands get all wet and stuff. Anyway, that's hair color. So this is more of a matte lipstick. And these work better than certain lipsticks. Because whenever you put it on, the lips are slippery. I don't know how to explain it. Some people have fluids that come out of, you know, their orifices, like their lips, their eyes. Anyway, I don't even want to get into it. But anyway, certain um, lipsticks won't apply well. Yeah, I think this will too. And I never like to just use just a lipstick or, you know, one of the uh, mortuary makeup kits. They have this kit where it has different colors. You can use that, but I always like to go over the lips with a gloss because it just gives it a finishing look. I did forget to show you blush and eyeliners, but they are very essential to this. So don't forget to add that to your finishing look. Well, that's all I have for Beauty on a Budget Mortuary Edition. If you have any questions or comments, leave one below. Or you can email me at dropdaygorgeous13 at gmail.com. Thanks, guys.